bro, these South Koreans just be making bangers, huh? Like, I swear to God, South Korean movies and shows, they just can't miss, dude. They just cannot miss. First, we got Train to Busan. I'm like, okay, you know, they can't come back with another banger. Bam! Parasite comes out. I'm like, there's no way they can come around for the three-peat, right? And bam! We got Squid Game, and as you can tell, I really like this show. Now, if you have no clue what the hell I'm talking about, you don't know what a goddamn Squid Game is. First of all, I don't believe you're a real human being. I swear to God, almost everybody, their grandma, and every single relative in their whole bloodline and family tree has at least heard about this show. Because I swear, I cannot scroll on social media for one second without hearing somebody talk about it. And, you know, I'm trying to avoid spoilers right now because I haven't finished it. I'm on episode six myself. So, you know, your boy got to finish it up soon. You feel me? But yeah, like I said before, if you don't know what Squid Game is, dude, I'm convinced that you're living under a rock somewhere. So I say this respectfully. Make sure to go check that shit out, boy. It's honestly kind of strange that you really never know what's going to blow up and what's going to be like the next internet sensation and squid game just apparently happens to be like one of the most popular shows that i've seen people talk about in a long time and the thing is though like i went into squid game like totally blind man like i feel like i started watching it when the hype was at like a a pretty moderate level like it's not like this gargantuan you know piece of media that it is now that like everyone just making memes and stuff about it just like goddamn roblox games about it i really want to try that shit out it looks really fun by the way but you know i kind of saw it, you know trending on twitter and you know i saw some couple tweets about it and i'm like okay you know i didn't know anything about it by the way i just knew it was a korean show i'm like all right you know i fuck with the korean shows a lot i want to go check this out and you know i'm watching it along with my girlfriend right now and she heard about it so i'm like okay if she's hearing about it this shit gotta be fire bro like i said though i haven't finished the series myself or i guess i should say the season since you know i don't know if they're gonna leave it on a cliffhanger where there's gonna be a season two or they're just gonna end it off with these nine episodes but regardless the part where i'm at right now in episode six bro this series is fucking fire the thing is though like i really want to talk with you guys more about like the games because holy shit man like this series knows how to get your anxiety levels to like maximum bro like, i swear dude like you know the the key events and like the stressful moments in the show they do not hold back like this is a goddamn stress simulator 100 percent so like i'm not really gonna spoil but like if you do want to go check this out and just go in blind by yourself you know feel free to go do that but if you don't care i mean you, you should stick around man you because this shit is hype but bro even if you guys haven't seen this show i am guaranteed you have seen this image right here at least once and you've probably heard this <laughs> at least once man dog i swear to god this first episode with this first game red light green light they know these south korean directors and actors they know how to hook an audience for my peeps out there that don't have anxiety or any type of fear bro and you want to know how that feels like bro just watch the red light green light game in this show trust me you gonna feel it honestly though my favorite scene from the red light green light game had to be the one when that motherfucking music comes in you already know what i'm talking about the fly me to the moon and let me play among the stars let me see what spring is like on jupiter and mars in other words Hey, rate my singing out of 10 and uh, make sure to leave a like for more singing by yours truly. And you just see like all this carnage in the background, bro. Just people just getting fucking shot, heads blowing up and shit. I'm like, dude, whenever you put like a song that's kind of like peaceful in a way or like beautiful, like amongst like anything that's like, you know, like any type of like bloodshed or just any type of dangerous activity, for some reason it makes the scene like, a million times better i'm not the only one that feels like that right honestly though if i gotta keep it real dude the best game so far that i've seen is this motherfucking tug of war bro when i tell you i popped off out of my motherfucking bed when i was watching this game you know unfold dude this had to be like one of the hypest moments dude ever man like that shit was just oh i can't i can't talk about it this is going in the spoilers but trust me for my people that watch it out there you guys fucking know how hyped that shit was also a lot of anxiety yeah that 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 feeling never goes away when you watch the show but yeah uh, squid game has a lot of good going for it obviously the masses seem to really enjoy this 
um type of show a lot which is really cool and interesting to see because i have always been a big fan of like any sort of you know death games you know i guess you can call it like a battle royale type of deal where only like one or a couple people survive you know it kind of reminds me of like certain animes you know like uh maybe like kaiji or like something like a dead man wonderland type deal like a future diary type deal just where like people are kind of you know it's kind of like you know we don't know who to trust we're all trying to get out of here alive you know also you're trying to earn a reward and we're willing to basically you know betray and backstab anybody in our path like that you know so it definitely gives me a lot of feels that i've that i've seen from certain types of anime i also feel like the show does a really good job to like get you invested into the characters like it's just not like random people doing stuff it's like you know the main cast is actually like pretty compelling and like i actually like am rooting for them for the most part and stuff like that like i am you know really connected to the characters so they already did a good job with that also the main character looks just like my uncle like i'm not even joking um one thing i do gotta say though for my people out there bro i gotta say this though psa really quickly before we wrap this video up for my people out there that are just not a big fan of reading subtitles i beg I plead, please watch this show in its original Korean language because holy shit, the English voiceover for this show, does, it just doesn't do it justice, man. I know this is kind of like the same argument with the whole anime subs versus dub shit, you know, like, I mean, if you've been around the channel, you know, I'm not really a big fan of this whole argument i watch anime in you know its original japanese language and you know i watch it in english too sometimes you know when it's convenient and whatnot trust me i get the pros and cons of both i get it bro but trust me when i say this i'm joining the motherfucking korean sub watchers on this one please watch it in it's a re in its original korean language because the voiceover are you mr cho song woo's mother uh, yeah, Cho Sung Woo. Yes, he's my son, sir. Do you know where your son happens to be now? On business in the United States. Uh, why do you ask, sir? Well, we're the police. I'm afraid that Mr. Cho Sung Woo has a warrant out for his arrest. He's charged with forgery, embezzlement, crimes that are all some form of financial fraud. Huh? Ape, can you really do this alone? I need you. Old man, can't you see that? Get up! God, this bitch so pathetic. Stop calling me babe an old man, huh? You ass. Also, that's not a meme video either. Like, that's actually how the English dub sounds in Squid Game, so. But hey, if you don't want to listen to me and you want to watch it in English language, that's fine too. But yeah, Squid Game. Um, dope story, dope characters. 10 out of 10. Would watch again.